How's it going guys? Today we're talking about one of the handiest and unfortunately one of the most expensive tools that I have in the shop. That's called the Festool Domino Cutter. Now, uh, the reason that this tool is really expensive is first of all, uh, it's made by Festool, which is a high-end machinery manufacturing company, so that comes with a big price tag. And second of all, this super, super handy technology isn't available anywhere else, so there's going to be a bigger price tag because you can't go get it anywhere else. Um, this, you're going to notice, is going to be very similar to the biscuit joiner. Uh, it's got a flat plate you can rest on. It's also you know, got a top part that you can register against your workpiece. And it's the same similar idea of pushing the machine forward and a cutter comes out the end. This cutter doesn't just go straight in and out though. It's also going to oscillate back and forth as it cuts. And that's going to create a mortise. You're going to put a mortise on both of your pieces. Now typically when you're doing mortise and tenon joinery, you're going to have a mortise on one side and a tenon on the other and they're going to fit together. In this case, you create a tenon on both sides and you fill it with a floating tenon called a domino. This creates a joint that's, from what I hear, nearly as strong as a traditional mortise and tenon joint. And so that's why this is a tool that's getting used super frequently uh, by cabinet makers and chair makers and fine furniture people all over the place. I'm going to be using the domino today to attach some of these like bookshelf parts in my big bookshelf case. The only reason I'm using the domino instead of a dado here is because I have two parts coming in on the opposite sides and I didn't want to cut a dado onto both sides and just not have very much meat left in the middle. Uh, also, it wouldn't allow you to put a screw into it uh, if there's two parts that are perfectly in alignment with each other. So we're going to be using this guy. Uh, I've got it set up and we're going to cut a couple of dominoes here and I'll show you how it works. the mortises the domino cutter created I'll show you how it goes together here I'm not going to use all of the dominoes right now I don't really like to put them in until I'm ready to glue them up which is why I have a couple that I sand down and put a T for test on uh, just so that they'll fit in and out more easily you kind of do need to tap them in and you typically put them in with glue so I like it to be as permanent as possible so we'll use the test guys for now just to make sure everything's square to the world And when we're done, turn out pretty reasonable. 